Hello and welcome back and today I want to give you more information, the hardware and the specs of the DS619 Slim that we covered a few weeks ago. So, let's go. Right, so in my other video I already touched on this but I will mention it very briefly again. Computex 2018 is happening right now in Taipan. Now at the same time as this, some of the big brands at QNAP, Synology, Yakitia, all the brands that we talk about here on the channel. All of those brands, rather than have their own stand at Computex, and they do have a presence there, have opted to have their own private event around Computex. It kind of makes sense, because that way you have a more targeted audience, and you can kind of leverage the amount of cost it takes to promote these things in a far more efficient manner if you hire the top level of a hotel room, or not a hotel room, a whole hotel suite, and then basically show people your new wares rather than try to hire a stand at these big events, which can cost an absolute bomb. Luckily, what that means is these more targeted shows, such as the Synology um, Solution Exhibition that we've been talking about, give you far greater focus and depth of their product range. And today, we've learned more about the DS619 Slim. Now, the DS619 Slim is a six-bay SSD and technically hard drive enabled NAS system. It's far more compact and designed for low noise, um, it's faster access and a smaller footprint in your environment. It's a very tiny device and the previous its predecessor, the DS416 Slim, was a popular NAS, although not very powerful NAS. This one on the other hand, this 6 bay, is very powerful by comparison and moreover I would say challenges some of the more um, you know, high-end home and SMB NASs such as the DS218 Plus and the DS418 Play. Now, and hardware inspector we know so far since the previous video that we made are as follows. The CPU, which I guessed at the time would have been an ARM, a Realtek, I was so wrong. They bunged in uh, the Intel J3355. It's a dual core 2.0 gigahertz CPU that could be boosted up to 2.5. The result of this is the hardware on this device, this six bay NAS, is better and or on par and indeed better than the DS218 Plus. Why? because not only can this be upgraded to 2 or 8 gig of DDR3L memory, but it's got dual LAN, so it's a 6 bay for SSDs, it's got the same CPU as the 218 Plus, and it's got dual LAN there on the rear, so with link aggregation and SSDs inside, you can really maximize that storage level. Plus, the 218 Plus, you've only got two bays, it's a RAID 0 and a RAID 1. This has got all the way up to RAID 5, 6, 10, 1 and 0 including, and of course, JBOD if you're crazy. Or you could raid zero the whole thing and go crazy. But alongside this, it's got two USB ports. It's got the six bays built into the front. And they're all toolless, you know, quick um, access trays there. So you can hot swap between them. No screwdriver required. And on top of that, the trays themselves, you can get away with one SSD and add drives as you go. And they can all be locked as well. This has got all the little comfort features, the physicalities of larger NASs like the 1517, the 1618, and the 918 on a far more smaller compact level, it's a tiny little thing. And on top of that, it arrives with two years of manufacturer's warranty. Now, right now, at Computex, of all the Synology and QNAP NASs I've seen, this is in the top three for me. This is definitely an interesting little NAS, because prior to this, the, the slim series of NASs, because there have been, been two or three before this, have always been considered way too niche. They've been considered low powered and very narrow in their target and focus. This, on the other hand, is a different kettle of fish. This is a much more powerful and far more accessible compact NAS. And the fact that you can have six drives inside and it's borrowed lots of features and physicalities of its larger and bigger brothers in a smaller fashion makes this incredibly attractive. And to use out there, you guys out there that want a far more compact and set up and forget and can't even hear solution for your uh, network attached storage and backup network, this is going to be incredibly attractive. Now, we will be seeing this, rele this device released around October of this year, November at a push. But that said, there's still no word on the price. I do think it will cost more than the 416 Slim, given the hardware inside in the extra bays, but not that much more. I look forward to telling you in the future, and there are far, far more releases coming up of both Computex 2018 and CBIT. So subscribe to this channel and do visit the more wordy NAS Compares article in the description below. It will tell you everything you need to know about this device. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching and do stay tuned for more.